I was born in southeastern Colorado. I'm the second of four children. My family has always been tied to agriculture in one way or another, uh, whether that was one set of grandparents 50 miles away um, raising cattle, or whether that's my parents and, and my paternal grandparents uh, who were custom harvesters. My father worked very, very hard. My grandfather had a heart attack uh, preparing for a farming season, and he died. Uh, at what most would consider a young age. I think from about the time I was a freshman in high school, uh, I knew that, that I had to go to college to have choice. I love where I grew up. It's an amazing small town. And because I was cared about, cared for, and supported by parents, teachers, counselors, business leaders, I was pushed to go and, well, be launched. When I was applying for schools, uh, I applied for Colorado State uh, there in Fort Collins. And then I got a local scholarship uh, sponsored by the bank that, well, it narrowed it and just confirmed that was the school I needed to attend. I'd been there maybe a couple of months and I remember calling my mother and it was, and, and, and I remember explaining, Mom, I, I feel like I'm missing missing a chapter of the book. You know, what are the rules of the game? How does all this work? And, and, and she said, well, you just need to study harder. And I'm like, mom, this isn't about studying. It's just feeling like, um, yeah, feeling like there's some cheat sheet that everybody else got and that I never got. Second semester of my freshman year, I didn't do so well. I got an F uh, in a class that was in my major. Um, looking back, uh, I realized that, that I gave up, I quit, I didn't know how to raise my hand and ask for help, but luckily there were other people that, that saw something in me, gave me a little extra support, uh, redirected my interests, and, and I still graduated on time. Being the first in my family to, to graduate with a bachelor's degree uh, was important at the time, but it, it I think it it gained greater value as time went on. When the question's posed about, you know, the meaning and significance of handing people a diploma, for me to be part of that cycle for students, to, to be able to hand them a, a diploma, uh, to, to, to be a part of that journey, um, well, it's, 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 it's heartwarming and at the same time, mind-blowing to think that from one generation, and I'm a university president, when in my mind I look at a little boy in the mirror who grew up as a poor farm kid, I don't know that I fully appreciate what it meant to be the, the first generation to leave farming or agriculture. I never dreamed I'd be handing people diplomas. I never dreamed that I'd be part of, part of a system that can change people's lives the way higher ed can. Um, and, and I'm forever grateful for the folks that have put me on that trajectory and for the folks that have pushed and pulled and prodded and encouraged me along the way.